Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time visiting, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot, and that way you're always up to date with the next Apex news. So we're just going to jump right into it. Here recently, there have been some billboards as well as some construction flags set up uh, in the area outside of Hydra Dam. That little four-piece, those little four buildings that were recently added in the Season 2 uh, map changes and well, there wasn't you know a whole lot of uh, information on it as far as w what they were and why they were there other than there was some new construction going on but now uh, EA has released some information and we know about the next event so the construction going on is definitely going to be for the new Wraith event it is called the Voidwalker event whoa definitely obviously going to be Wraith based um if you follow her lore at all, you would know that she escaped from a facility that was hidden underground underneath where the Apex Legends Arena now is. So, it's like, you know, it's sort of meta, in my opinion, whenever you think about it. You know, because you're like, oh, okay, you know, this was supposed to already be there, but here are these construction flags for <laughs> this new stuff that's coming in and we're just gonna pretend like it's all, always been there okay um but that's her whole reason for you know getting into the uh, the apex games i guess you would call them and the you know the battle royale to begin with is so she can get in there and find out more information there so there's definitely probably going to be some little hidden lore info which would be really really awesome to see and i'll definitely be checking it out it's kind of hard to check things out in this game because you know again it's a battle royale so if you, you have to survive to go check some stuff out. Um, but let's cover the event right now. So with the event, it is obviously called the Voidwalker event. It's going to be a two-week long event. It's going to start September 3rd and last until September 17th. Now there's a few things that is that are going to come along with this event. Obviously you're going to have the uh, Wraith Town is what it's called. But that's going to be the little facility, uh, you know. Yeah, supposedly they've been unearthing. So you know, maybe we can go that route instead of you know the construction flags. They're like excavation flags. You know, they're like, hey man, we, we've not noticed this you know, project right here in Kings Canyon. So hopefully, you know, we'll uh, get some more information about it. So they're in the site. There's going to be a functional prototype portal that can be used to get an early jump on the base. Or to kind of like escape or reinitiate your skydive, which honestly I think is pretty cool. I would like little portals like that. But then again, in all reality, that's what your jump towers are. So, you know, eh, kind of cool. There's also going to be a limited time mode that's going to be dropped in there called Armed and Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not going to sit there and say, like, I'm excited for this because I really enjoyed the, the Iron Crown solo event. And uh, this is, you know, okay. So in this uh, limited time event called Armed and Dangerous, you are only going to have uh, the option to find some sniper rifles and some shotguns. And the overall loot is going to be much harder to come by. Now, I don't know if that's like harder to come by as in comparison to solo mode, because you could find loot everywhere, or if they're talking about like just general Apex, you know, or is it going to be harder than that? Because sometimes it's pretty hard to find loot as it stands. Uh, there's also going to be some, you know, in game surveys there, so you can definitely let Respawn know your feedback and if you're, you know, if you enjoy the game mode or if you think it's silly. Uh, but they plan on, you know, bringing out more modes like this in the future, so we'll just have to see. Now, uh, obviously, they uh, are going to make you feel like they heard what we said, and they heard what, you know, the community has been talking about, and how they did not enjoy how the Iron Crown event was handled. Sort of. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, here's some free loot. Right, that comes in with this event, which is just like uh, the Legendary Hunt event. You know, there there was a little bit of loot there. There are two tiers of loot, or you know, little um, rewards that you can collect. And you know, tier one is pretty simple. You get a Voidwalker badge by playing Armed and Dangerous, and getting thirty headshots, give you thirty crafting materials. Winning once in any mode will give you the a new Wraith loading screen. 
completing seven dailies during the event will get a G7 skin. They're always about the G7 with these free skins. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. Legendary Hunt had the same thing. And then we've got uh, with the Tier 2, after you've completed you know, your Tier 1s, so you'll roll over to your Tier 2 rewards and you there's another armed and dangerous badge which you know when you win five of them then there's 60 headshots on top of the 30 you get 30 more crafting materials and then winning once as three different characters in any mode you get a wraith music pack and then once you complete 14 more dailies on top of the seven that you originally completed you get another g7 skin so okay and then obviously here is our direct purchase shop. Uh, so they've dropped your little... Uh, hmm, that's sort of upsetting in my opinion. They've, they've dropped the little loot boxes. You know, you could just throw those bad boys in for 3 to $5. But in all honesty, in the legendary event... Or I'm sorry, the legendary hunt, they gave you that skin for free. So now you're going to be paying for this skin. So this isn't, to me, this isn't the same you know, level that the Iron Event, Iron Crown event was. This is more of a Legendary Hunt event. But the reality is, is that they've kind of melded these together, which personally just makes me feel like this direct purchase shop for the skins that they did for the Iron Crown was their original plan anyways. They just wanted to see how much money they could get out of your diehard players before saying, oh, here, you can buy the actual skin that you want. But I digress from that. I'm trying to move on. Because, uh, you know, I definitely I definitely really enjoy this game. I just don't like how EA's handling it. Hey, man, you know, I get it. You got to make money. But just be honest with me. You know, don't, don't pull this kind of stuff. Um, so in the event, they're introducing lower price to point items outside of the skin that you want the legendary skin and then uh yeah you've got some frames here so from september 3rd to september 10th you can buy the wraith voidwalker skin for 20 bucks which is you know on point with all the other skins okay i'm down with that you know i have no complaint then you have the uh, RE45 skin called Gnarly. Then a Lifeline and Gibraltar skins. Both of them kind of like a red uh, red layout, looks like. Red color scheme, which I like both of them. Both of those are only 500 uh, Which, honestly, to me, they look like skins that could have been dropped with the original game. But I'll take it. You know, whatever. Those look nice. Sure, if you want them, five bucks. That's not bad. But, you know, what's the point of your crafting materials at this point other than getting the original skins? But, you know what? I digress again. So, from September 10th to September 17th, you're going to have the Voidwalker skin available for purchase, purchase again. And then we have a Wraith frame for $10. And then a nice little Prowler skin for 500 coins, which is 5 bucks, And then a Bangalore skin that looks more purple or more of like a pink. Which, honestly, I kind of like it. I might buy that skin. And it's for $5. There's also going to be six new legendary items that are going to be added to the core loot pool, which can be crafted or obtained. So that's really nice. But the each of those items we're, are going to receive a first look offer in the direct purchase store. So you're going to get the opportunity to purchase it. And then you might be able to check, you know, might get it or might be able to craft it later. So I, I don't know if that's, it doesn't look like it's referring to anything that it's already talked about. Uh, so hopefully it'll be some new loot. And then obviously from September 6th uh, to September 9th, there is going to be a double XP for top five finishes and wins. That's going to affect both your account level and your battle pass progression. So, you know, overall, this, you know, this is a, the next event, <laughs> you know, you just gotta keep, uh, gotta keep pushing, gotta keep trudging through. I like the Voidwalker skin. It really reminds me of Mass Effect. Honestly, I feel like I'm playing Talia. It's like Jack and Talia, you know, blended together. But hey, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you feel. Are you excited for this event? Do you care less? Are you gonna play the game anyways? I know I'm gonna play the game anyways. Yeah, you know, I enjoy it still. Um, but I don't know, man. I'm just, <laughs> after that solo mode, oh, 
I, just, I don't know how this is, you know, how I'm going to like this event. I want solos back already, but that's just me. Uh, let me know your comments below. And like I said, if you could, man, like this video, give me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.